what's going on everybody this is island hopper tv hotels coming to you from the ac hotel here in punta cana so we're gonna go inside here take a look at this very comfortable hotel the beds are super comfortable here probably the most comfortable i've seen in dr so you've got the uh, check-in area Very friendly staff, helpful. And you've got the kind of lounging area, bar, drinks, food, restaurant, breakfast, all that. And we've got outdoor here. Pool. Some of the rooms actually have like pool front uh, hotel rooms. I would say this hotel maybe three years old tops. Three or four years old. It's pretty new. Big old pool, right? Big old pool. That outdoor dining over there. The only thing really missing from this hotel is laundry. You have to pay to do laundry, but you can't do it on site. So there's some of those rooms. Let's keep touring around here and see what they got. This is level two. Smells good here. The elevators. Now let's show you my room. And here is a look at the gym. Got some waters here. I'll grab one. Oh, it's a little bit cold. All right, let me show you the room here. So I've already been using the room, so don't mind my mess. But yeah, you can see the bathroom here. Got a mini fridge, but it's empty. Some coffees. Actually, there is water in there. I've already had one, so um, you do get complimentary water. Don't mind that towel on the ground. That was for me. And then I've already been laying on the bed, and I was like, oh, i got to make the uh, video. They brought me some fresh fruit here. And this is my view. Let me see here. There we go. This is my view. Pool view. The other side has a parking lot view. But yeah, the bed is super comfortable, so I'm excited about that. And uh, other than that, this is the basic room. All right, everybody. Now we are going to review the AC Hotel. So this is my second time actually staying here. The first time I stayed here in 2022. I felt like it was a new hotel then, and it still feels like a new hotel to this day. Now, uh, the things that I will say about this hotel in comparison to other hotels, it has some of the most comfortable beds in all of Punta Cana. I mean, I stay at these all-inclusive resorts. I'm staying at the one right now called The Sanctuary. It's an all-inclusive resort. Totally different experience than the AC, uh, but both are Marriott properties. The bed here, when I woke up, I felt stiff, and this is a very expensive hotel. Whereas the bed in AC just seems perfect. It's not overly soft, it's not overly hard, it just works, okay? The AC works great, so if you're looking for something with a comfortable accommodation that's not gonna break the bank, although it's not all-inclusive and you're not getting any of those benefits that you'll get uh, with other hotels that are along the beach or that are all-inclusive, keep that in consideration, but it is comfortable. Uh, the price here tends to be around 250 to almost $300 a night. Punta Cana is a very expensive place. Uh, you get what you pay for though, right? Um, 
But like I said, it's not on the beach. It is in downtown Punta Cana. It's within walking distance to the mall. But uh, if you wanted to go to Bavaro Beach or if you wanted to go to Cop Cana or some of these other places, I mean, you're looking at around 20 minute taxi rides, Uber rides. Uh, Uber is definitely more affordable than taxis. Uh, as far as the food goes, the food is good here. Uh, they do have a concessions. The internet is also fairly <clears throat> modest. It's not very fast. I mean, it's not like blazing fast. Uh, the hotel I'm at now does have faster internet. Um, I will be reviewing some more hotels from Punta Cana, so stay tuned for that. Like I said previous video, I did do the four points. I stayed there, but I didn't make the video. If you guys want me to make that video for the Sheraton Four Points, I can. If you were to say which one's a better hotel, AC or Four Points, well, I would take AC just because it's more comfortable and I think the location's a bit better. Some people like that Punta Cana Village where the Sheraton is. Although for me, um, I think the AC hotel is just overall better. Now, the only thing that the Four Points has is close proximity to the airport. And there are some shopping and food options nearby as well. Um, if you look online, you'll notice the, fair po the four points and the AC kind of go back and forth for which one's going to be more expensive. First day I came here, AC was more expensive by $30 than the four points, so I took four points. But then last night when I went looking, AC was cheaper than four points. So I guess it just depends on availability and stuff like that. Now, overall, I would have to say that the rating I will give AC is about a 4.8. Um, the thing is, the there's a couple things that I don't want to get into, I guess, because I don't want to get too overly dramatic about things. But there are some things that the AC could work on. Um, and we'll just leave it at that. You guys don't have to worry about it too much. But there are some things that they could work on uh, that are holding it back from a perfect rating. But 4.8 is still pretty good out of five stars. Um, the overall experience that I've had in Punta Cana, as far as what's the best, I would say all-inclusive on the beach at Bavaro is probably where you're going to get the most value. Um, Punta Cana or Cop Cana, where I'm at now, you're going to get great value, more relaxing, but you're going to pay uh, top price. So yeah, you're getting luxury value out of uh, Cop Cana. So take that in consideration. Do with that information what you will. But anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. And we will see you on the next one from Punta Cana and Dominican Republic. I may be going more places in Dominican Republic or going to Puerto Rico. We shall see. So we'll see you <clears throat> on the next one.